All right, um, Lauren, you can see that I've got your file open. Uh, like how you're using xrefs, unfortunately I can't see them, but uh, since I'm only dealing with the uh, the dimensions at the moment, I can still modify dimension settings without actually seeing the uh, <coughs> excuse me the reference file. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm looking at the dimension. I'm just going to select this, see what's going on. Nothing appears out of the ordinary. Uh, the command we're looking for is ddim, and when I look at this, I can see there's a whole bunch of stuff that's in here I don't know if you really need, but I'm going to assume that all your dimensions are using the EMT style right here. Before I do that, PU at the command prompt, start the purge command. Uh, view the items that I can purge. Purge nested items. Do not confirm each ID. Purge and then just say purge all. This is going to get rid of all the unused information in your drawing. It's going to streamline a few things. Um, so that when I type in DDIM and look at my dimension styles, you can see how many of them went away. It's going to delete the ones that aren't being used. Okay. I'm going to look at my settings, so I'm going to click Modify for the UNT dimension style. Now, dealing with text sizes, there's basically two things that you need to look at, and they're both going to be on the Text tab. One of them is going to be Text Height, and you can see it's grayed out. <coughs> That's telling us that the text height is controlled by the text style uh, and we can go straight to the uh, the text style dialog box by clicking on the little button here with the three dots and Arial narrow is annotated and that's fine paper text height is an eighth of an inch now if I change this to 332nd then it's going to obviously be 332nd everywhere you'll see that value change but it will still be gray so I'm just going to highlight the whole thing, 332nd, click Apply, and Close. And see, you can, now you can see how that's changed. <clears throat> click OK, click Close, and now you see how all the dimension style, or all the dimension text shrinks throughout the entire drawing. So that's it. That's changing the text size. Um, I'm looking at your dimension ticks. Go back to the DDIM command, go to modify. That would be under, some of it's under lines. And I want to change the extend beyond dimension lines. That's that little piece right there is going to be that variable. So I'm going to set change that to 132nd of an inch. Uh, extend, what, wait a minute. These are the extension lines beyond the dimension line. I'm sorry. That's that little variable that we just changed. This little piece right here is controlled. Here, the extension line beyond the ticks. 132nd inch, click OK, click Close, and now you can see those both closing a little bit tighter. And the only other thing that I'm going to look at, DDIM one more time, Modify, Text, Offset from Dimension Line, 132nd of an inch, Cancel, Cancel. That's the, that's the value that we wanted. That's the distance from here to here. And the dimension distance from the bottom of the text to the top of the dimension line. Uh, so there you go. That's the information that you wanted. And uh, hope to see you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.